Mississippi, we were incorporated in 1898. We're located in Harrison County, which is a beach, beach county. Uh, we are on the Gulf of Mexico. We have seven miles of man-made white sand beaches. Um, we population of about 72,000 72, people. Uh, most of you guys know Hurricane Katrina. That did come in. Uh, we hit the east side of that in 2005, which devastated the city, and we're still rebuilding from that. Gulfport's about 64.2 square miles. Um, so we're fairly large. We are the second largest city in the state of Mississippi behind Jackson. It's one of the most unique ones in the industry because it has incentives, incentives for us to perform. And if we don't perform, get these work orders done, then we get penalized. They hold 5% retainage on us every month. So. That's a substantial amount of money. So it's really evolved into us performing, us hiring the right people, inventory control. We have to account for like 99.5% of all, everything that's purchased or we get penalized. And have the risk with the retainage, but there's also uh, monthly fees and penalties that we incur. If we don't meet quality benchmarks, we get a penalty. If we fail to staff a position, we get a penalty for that that equals about one and a half times the employee's salary. So we're incentivized not only on the retainage, but day to day to meet our benchmarks and quality that includes staffing and uh, time. Uh, every facet of the work that we do, we're held to a standard that we must meet or we can be penalized monthly as well as the end of the year retainage. Mm -hmm. When you run the numbers, when you look at every aspect of it, we, we cannot find a negative in having the co a privatization contract come in and actually handle the labor force for our public works, like I said, water, sewer, streets, and drainage. It just makes sense to do that. And uh, we've been, like I said, doing it since 1999, and I, can, I don't see where that will ever stop on the Gulfport side just because of the relationship that we've had. Mm -hmm. American Public Works Association has never done this, but when we came in here after talking with people, you know, all these employees for two days, we did not know the difference that there was a contract. We didn't know that there was, that there was separate the city of Gulfport and utility partners. And she said, by the way that you guys work together, and everything that y'all accomplished as one over the last year and a half, they decided to accredit utility partners through the American Public Works Association also. And we came together as one, and that was, that was a goal that we were able to complete, to complete with the help of utility partners. And because of that, we all became accredited. And, you know, that's just, just a testimony to his guys and how they work with my guys and gathering information and helping us and how they document and try to make the city of Gulfport better.